Hi, today just some quick tip for all ESP32 users with an 3.3 volt level GPIO pin and what to do if you want to use a 5 volt compatible sensor or maybe a higher voltage like 12 volt or so on. First we can try to use direct the output of the 5 volt sensor to our ESP32 3.3 volt GPIO pin but unfortunately then we can destroy our GPIO pin. Or we can use the voltage drop of some diodes to reduce the voltage level of our signal but this only works in one direction and we can also try to use maybe an voltage divider or we use a MOSFET and channel MOSFET as a level shifter. And the way this works is just the gate of the N channel MOSFET is held at the lower level. In our case this is 3.3 volt and if we now use the 5 volt sensor and the sensor is at 5 volt and our 3.3 volt watt side is an input then the N channel MOSFET don't con Conduct and held the both side at the high level or 5 volt at one side and 3.3 volt at the other side and if now our 5 volt side is pulled to 0 volt or ground then because of the intrinsic body diode of the end channel MOSFET the source of the MOSFET is also pulled to ground and our end channel MOSFETs conducts and so our 3.3 volt rail input is also at the ground level or low and the same works works also at the other side but with a different principle. If we now use our 3.3 volt side as an output and pull the output to high then our end channel MOSFET don't conduct and because of the pull up resistor the output of our level shifter is pulled to high. And if we now pull our 3.3 volt side at the low level or to ground then our end channel MOSFET conducts and pull also the 5 volt side to ground and so the 5 volt side is also at the low level. So our level shifter works on both sides and not only at 3.3 volt and 5 volt this works also on different voltage levels and here a practical example at the bench with a 5 volt output sensor and first we try to use this without a trigger and then I switch on the trigger on the oscilloscope to capture the output signal of our sensor and the next signal pulses are captured with our trigger level and we can check this if our signal is completed if we switch between different time settings. And now I use the cursors to check if the high and low level are really between 0 and 5 volt. And as you see cursor A is at round about 5 volt and cursor B is round about by 0 volt so we have a difference of 5 volt level. And now we can zoom a little bit to our oscilloscope screen and see that the voltage peak to peak is also at round about 5 volt for our signal. And if we now add the level shifter to the second channel and do the same measurement again then we see that on the first channel the yellow line follows the 5 volt rail and the blue line the second channel follows the 3.3 volt rail. And, and we see both signals follow with the same pattern but with different voltage levels. So we have channel 1 with 5 volt peak to peak approximately and channel 2 with 3.3 volt. So thanks for clicking my video that's all for today. I hope you enjoy this video you and maybe learn something today. If you want to support my channel please give me a thumbs up. I wish you a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.